One of the most iconic destinations in all of Europe is Venice, Italy's beautiful Canal City. If you're planning a trip here and only have two days in Venice, you might not know where to begin. Welcome to Multicity Trips, the multi-destination travel expert for personalized multi-city trips to Europe. In today's video, we bring you one of our favorite itineraries that will let you make the most of your time and enjoy what Venice has to offer in just two days. New to our travel channel? We post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so subscribe today and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest travel guide, inspiration, tips, and amazing travel itineraries available to your favorite destinations in Europe. To make the most of this Venice itinerary and travel guide, check out our recommended flights, hotels to stay in, and more things you can do in the video description below. For a full list of recommendations mentioned in this video, click on the link provided in the description to access the blog post version of this guide from our website. Let's begin. Day 1 Since your vacation in Venice is only two days long, make sure you get up early. Wake up as early as you can, get ready, and head out the door as soon as you can so that you can get a good breakfast in before starting to explore the city. Head out and find a local coffee shop or a stand to purchase a typical Italian breakfast, coffee, and some kind of sweet pastry. Espresso is a great option to give you the energy to get through your busy day, and a brioche bun is a satisfying bite to eat. After you eat breakfast, spend an hour or so exploring Venice. While there's plenty to do in this exciting city, it's always a good idea to spend at least some time simply wandering around and soaking in everything that the city has to offer. Once you finish breakfast and have spent some time wandering through the city, you can now intentionally wander towards the Rialto Market. This market is located near the Rialto Bridge and is a place where you could spend a few hours exploring the selections of fruits, vegetables, fish, and more. This is a lovely place where you can pick up some groceries to sustain you through your trip, or you could also pick up a bite to eat for your lunch. Spend your afternoon exploring Doge's Palace. This historic structure dates back to 810 and was built in the unique Venetian Gothic style. It's been a museum since 1923, and you can visit today to experience the collections that are housed there and view the incredible historic structure as well. You could spend hours exploring this palace on your own, but you can also pay for a guided tour. If you're hoping to have more time to relax and experience the city, you may want to consider the tour. The guide can point out the things you need to know, and you can make sure you don't miss anything before heading on. As the sun starts to set, it will be time to head to dinner. The evening meal in Italy is typically consumed quite late, but you can start around 5 p.m. if you're hungry with drinks and appetizers from any of Venice's local bars or restaurants. While the restaurants of Venice have plenty of delicious meals to offer, there are several items that are exceptionally tasty in this canal city. You can try any kind of seafood dish, such as risotto al nero di sepia, a risotto made with squid ink. You can choose to end your evening after your meal and get rested for day two, but there are plenty of options if you want to continue drinking and eating late into the night. You can also wander the city in the evening and admire the waterways and beautiful views under the stars. Day 2 On your second day in Venice, you'll be waking up early to make sure you can make your way to St. Mark's Basilica and beat the majority of the crowds. You don't have to wake up extremely early, but you should give yourself enough time to get in line to visit the illustrious cathedral at least by 9am, just a half hour before it opens. This line will get you into the church for free. But if you're not interested in waiting, you can purchase a ticket to enter for just a few euros, or you can also choose to take a guided tour for an even more in-depth experience. Once you finish exploring St. Mark's Basilica, you can head to a classic Venetian activity, a gondola ride. The standard package consists of a 30-minute experience, costing anywhere from 80 to 100 euros, depending on the time of day you want to take your ride. The midday time will be cheaper, but you can choose to participate in this activity later in the evening if you wish to have that sunset experience. A gondola ride in Venice is something everyone should experience. Gondolas were initially used as a regular method of transportation throughout the canals of Venice, but they are no longer used that way. 
Today, gondolas are used for pleasure and to carry on the long tradition of using these ornately carved boats. Gondolas are a persevering symbol of Venice's history and culture, and you'll love your time seeing the city as you float through it. Finish your afternoon by heading to St. Mark's Campanile, a bell tower. The current construction was built in 1912, but the original building dates back to 898. You can take an elevator to the top of this building and soak in an incredible view of the entirety of Venice. For your last evening in Venice, you can take another gondola tour in the moonlight, or you can head to the historic Teatro de Venice to catch a show. This theatre is considered to be one of the most important in Italian theatrical history as well as the global history of opera. Its name translates to the Theatre of the Phoenix, a nod to the theatre's mission to preserve the traditions of theatre through the many fires of the 18th century that destroyed several other theatres. Its name is a nod to the fact that its existence allowed opera to rise from the ashes. Once the show finishes, you can head out to get post-theater drinks and a bite to eat. Make sure you take your time soaking in what Venice has to offer before heading back to your hotel to get a good night's rest. There you have it, our Venice itinerary that will let you absorb the best of the city in just two days. We hope you find our itinerary and guide helpful, and if you are planning a trip inspired by our itinerary, Ensure to check our recommended flights, hotels you can stay in, and best things to do during your visit in the video description below.